When you think of 10th grade, you might not think geographic information systems. From the beginning, when we started out with the basic map, and I geo-referenced it so you could get the state lines. But Helix High 10th graders do. And then I went on the internet, and I got the uh, 100 most populous cities in the United States. I entered the city, their population, and their position on the map. This is good stuff. Our kids answer questions. They find data. They solve it, and then we teach more of the content with it as we go. And it causes them to think about industry and energy use in Europe. They also think about average wages of California counties, infant mortality rates in Africa, boundaries and borders, and the world's climate zones. You learn how to get the data you need, if it's a desert, if it's a tundra, subarctic, Mediterranean, tropical. This GIS program is one of a kind. Actually, San Diego State has a, has a Bachelor's of Science degree, and we are actually working with them to have our students earn credit, college credit, for the work they're doing here. We would hope that this becomes a pilot program at, because I believe that kids have increased learning in uh, content areas. But you'll notice that the last mark you made is the mark that we're going to start with. So we're just going to follow this and it, it will actually track you on the screen. The students build their geospatial foundation in ninth grade by using GPS devices. We try to get the kids to use the tools that uh, we have available for them trying to get them outside of class to actually learn about geography. By 10th grade, the use of geographic information systems teaches a host of subjects. What our kids are doing in here is just taking data and manipulating the data um, in order to solve a question. So the question I might ask is, what region of the world has had the most population uh, increase by percentage? So they bring in this data of population 1950 and then add on population uh, 2000 data and then they try, they try to answer their question and then also figure out do they have any data to support that answer. GIS learning connections are far reaching. I focused in on South America and I took data like the largest volcanoes and you know earthquakes and I also got the data from the largest cities within the South America. If we wanted to make this all earth science GIS. It could be all earth science GIS applications with, um, with the use of technology. If we wanted to make it uh, all based on geography, it could all be based on geography or on business. GIS offers emerging career opportunities. This type of technology, geospatial technology, uh, President Bush identified uh, as being the third, the third in highest demand for the nation behind uh, biotechnology and nanotechnology. Kids are doing skills that are transferable into a direct career, um, and these skills are also transferable into actual curriculum areas. Combining data and technology, Helix High School is turning innovation into education. And I, I do believe that our kids can start to learn more about our communities and learn more about our cities and more about, about, about our world by looking at technology and data and using them hand-in-hand -hand to answer problems, solve problems, and have maybe a greater understanding.